Each of the different self-serve ad platforms gives you a few different ways to control your budget, and LinkedIn is no different. Now, it's no secret that LinkedIn is one of the more expensive channels, so having a good handle on your budget is pretty important. So in this video, we wanna walk through the three different types of budget controls you have for LinkedIn, so you can make sure you're using the right one in your account. The easiest way to walk through all of the budget controls for LinkedIn is just to be in an example campaign and spend the entire time in the budget section. So for this video, I've created a placeholder campaign. We're using website visits. I'm not gonna do anything else on this setup. I'm just gonna scroll all the way down here to the budget and schedule section of the campaign builder. Now by default, your campaigns are always going to start with a daily budget. But if you wanna change it, we just need to use this drop down here. And this is where you'll see the set a daily and lifetime budget, daily budget, which is the default, and a lifetime budget. So for now, let's talk about how a daily budget on LinkedIn ads works. I'm gonna change this to be $100 just so the math is a little easier to talk through. But with a daily budget campaign on LinkedIn ads, you're telling the platform that you wanna spend about $100 every single day that your campaign is running. I say about $100 because as you can see in this question mark here, on any given day, you can spend up to 50% more than that daily budget if LinkedIn thinks there's a good opportunity for performance. So what that means is that with this $100 budget, on any given day, you could spend $150. But additionally, LinkedIn also says that they will aim to only spend your daily budget over that seven day period. So down here at the bottom, where we talk about ad schedule, which this does have an impact on budgeting, you can see your campaign will spend no more than $700 in a week. So on any given seven day period, your campaign will not spend more than $700. So it averages out to your daily budget, but again, on any given day, could be much higher or much lower to try and accommodate for that level. Now, the other thing to know about budgets is how you can run an ad schedule on them. So for daily budgets, you can run your campaign continuously, which means you only set a start date, your campaigns will then run, and on any given seven day average, you should spend about $700. But you can also set a start and an end date. And the math is gonna work out pretty much the same here. LinkedIn always sets you to a 28 day default, from what I can tell. And even though you will be able to spend, again, upwards of 50% more of your daily budget on any given day, over the lifetime of your campaign, you will only spend what the average daily budget was. So this says that even if you set the daily budget at $100, let it run for 28 days, some days might spend $150, other days will spend less, but the total budget you will spend will be $2,800, which is your $100 times the 28 days that it's running. Now, if you pause your campaign at any given point throughout that 28 day period, you might be pacing over or under your daily budget. But again, it'll average out to be only the daily budget times the number of days that it was running. In my experience, daily budgets work the best for campaigns that are gonna be on for quite a while, for campaigns that run on an evergreen status, so you always have them in place. I like that there is a bit of an upper limit to what you can spend on any given day, so up to 50% more than your budget, and that it will average out to your daily budget over time. Now, the second type of control that we're gonna talk about is going to be to set a lifetime budget for your campaign. With a lifetime budget, you set the total amount that you wanna spend for your campaign. So here it's defaulted us to $1,500 total, and it's set the schedule at 29 days. With a lifetime budget, you have to set a start and end date because LinkedIn needs to know by what date you wanna spend that $1,500. Now there's a difference with lifetime and daily budgets. Although it guarantees that you will not spend more than that $1,500 lifetime budget, there are no guardrails when it comes to how much of your budget can be spent on any given day. There is no 50% upper limit. So in theory, you could run this campaign for 29 days, spend $1,500, which for that, the average spend would be a little over $50 a day if it was spread evenly. But with a lifetime budget, you could spend up to $100, $150 a day if the LinkedIn algorithm thinks that it could be worth your while performance-wise. Again, it'll pull down other days to accommodate and stay at only that $1,500 total, but there's no 50% upper limit on any given day. In my experience, lifetime budgets work pretty well when you want to take full advantage of any sort of performance variation that you have in your campaign, but you need to know exactly the amount that you're going to spend over the certain lifetime of a campaign. You also need to know the actual end date 
So for this, I typically run a lifetime budget for events, short run events like a webinar or a product launch, something like that, where I know exactly the date that it needs to end on. And there's no reason why I would ever extend it past that date. Now, the third option tries to combine these two a little bit and give you the best of both worlds. That's going to be where you set a daily and a lifetime budget for your campaign. So for this campaign, let's keep using the same numbers we had before. Let's say on a daily budget level, you want to spend $100. You'll notice here again, you can still spend upwards of 50% more on some days and less on others. So this is just like a daily budget. You give it your range, it can spend more or less, but on any given day, you've only got that 50% upper limit. You then additionally set your lifetime budget. You tell LinkedIn the total amount of spend that you want to have. Now this is where things get a little finicky. You only set a start date for this type of budget control. There is no end date and the campaign will not run indefinitely because you've provided a lifetime budget. So how this works is that on any given day, LinkedIn will spend anywhere from zero to $150 based on this daily budget, but it will only spend $1,500. Once that $1,500 is exhausted, the campaign will turn off. Now on the shortest run example of this, if LinkedIn spent $150 a day, this campaign will only run for 10 days. Now on the flip side, if it only spent $50 a day, it could run for much longer. So while you get the controls of the daily budget and you have some control over how much you're actually going to spend on a given day, even given the 50% increase, and you have the control of how much your campaign is going to spend in total, the control you lose is how long the campaign is going to run since you can't set an end date. Now, obviously, since I just ran through this example, you can do some simple math to know what the shortest time frame is. And for this campaign, that would be about 10 days. And if that's long enough for you, or you don't have an end date in mind, this could be a great option for you to make sure that you control your daily spend, but also average out to a certain lifetime budget and let it run until you've exhausted all those funds. And then it'll automatically turn off afterward. No matter which of these controls you use, whether it's daily and lifetime budget, only daily budget, or only lifetime budget, they all have their pros and cons. And which one you choose will end up having some influence on how your campaigns perform. If you don't care about your daily spend, you just want to make sure that you control the total spend for the campaign, a lifetime budget is going to be the right option for you. If you don't care quite so much, about the total spend, but you do care about how much you're trying to pace on any given day, daily budgets are going to be the way to go. And if you need to control the daily spend and the total spend, but you're willing to let go of some control when it comes to the length of time that your campaign is running, a combination of daily and lifetime budgets could work really well for you. Hopefully now you understand the different budget controls on LinkedIn a little bit better and you've got in mind the one that makes the most sense for you. But if there's anything I left out or if you have any additional questions about how these budget controls work or anything else on the LinkedIn platform, leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.